My name is Ashley Bogue. Today I'm going to talk about my hobby. When you think of owning a pet, you probably think of a four-legged furry animal, right? Chances are, you probably don't think of one that has hoofs and horns. Um, that's what I do for my hobby. I raise Nigerian dwarf goats. I currently own seven Nigerian dwarf goats and are expecting kids from three of my females. <laughs> Nigerian goats are not common as pets, but they are actually wonderful companion pets. Due to their small size and stature and great temperament, they make wonderful pets for children as well. Nigerian dwarfs are a domesticated breed of goats that originate from Africa, commonly in Nigeria, hence the name Nigerian dwarf goats. <coughs> the Nigerian dwarf is a miniature breed of dairy goat, but as I've said, they're becoming more popular as backyard pets. Does, which are female goats, average out at 17 to 22 inches in height, Upon kidding or giving birth, they average between two and five kids, but three to five are more common. The gestation period is between 143 and 156 days, so roughly you're looking at five months of pregnancy. Most kids average out at two pounds each, but they grow very quickly. Um, while producing milk, a healthy doe can produce up to eight cups of milk per day. Goat's milk has a higher butterfat percentage, between six and 10% more than milk from any other dairy breed of goats. The, goat has, the goats have a sweet flavor milk and the milk can be used to make soaps as well, which I would like to learn in the near future. Bucks, which are male goats, average out at 19 to 23 inches in height. Males can produce a terrible smell while in rut or when they're wanting to breed. If you're not planning to breed your male, it's best to go ahead and get them neutered, which has to be done before they are eight weeks of age. <clears throat> Goats have a natural curiosity, and if they get bored with what's inside their enclosure, they will find a way out. Um, so make sure if you're planning on getting goats, you have an enclosure that is tall enough to keep them from jumping out. We currently have a huge dog house that we use as a mountain for them. We have a swing that they can swing on, and we have like a loft area where they can lay out in the sun and sunbathe. Um, goats need at least 30 feet per goat in an enclosure. Um, the cost of goats is not really that bad after the initial cost. Um, for our seven goats, average monthly cost for feed, hay, and salt supplements is about $120 a month. Um, but the initial cost, you have to include setting up your enclosure, purchasing your goats, which can range from anywhere from $100 to $200 plus dollars per goat. Um, nutrition and health are big factors in raising goats. My goats get hay at least three times a week, plus two cups of sweet feed, two cups of a grain pellet mix twice a day. And we're always checking their water. They like warm water. As to cold water, they don't like cold water. Um, and a single goat can drink up to five gallons of water a day. Um, vaccines are a necessity. We give all of our goats tetanus and rabies shots, and we have to trim their hooves every two months to prevent foot rot. Goats are herding animals, so if you choose to get a goat, please get more than one goat, unless you are okay with the vocalization, because they will be very loud and they get lonely. <clears throat> to summarize it all up, I'll go over the pros and cons of Nigerian dwarfs. The pros are their small size, they're easy to train, um, they're friendly and gentle, and they produce milk. Um, the cons, they must be enclosed, which could be costly. They should not be kept alone because they will be very loud if they're kept alone. Male and female together, only during breeding. Um, they're very curious and they're high jumpers, so if they get bored, they will jump out. And intact males can be very smelly, so if you're not going to use them for breeding, um, I would suggest getting them neutered. And that's it.